What's up, YouTube? Salvo G here, and welcome back to another reaction video. First and foremost, thank you all so much for being here. Hope you're having a great day. It's my Friday, actually, so yay me. I am excited. It's been a really long week. First really busy week of the season, for me at least. So it's been a long one, so I'm glad to reach the end of it. Glad to relax, do a live stream on this weekend, catch up on some content, that's for sure. Excited for that. So thank you guys for being here, I appreciate it. All right, Foreigner, this will be a first time hearing. Foreigner for the first time. And we're gonna listen to, I want to know what love is. This is a lyric video, by the way, so lyrics will be on screen. I figured, why not? So who is Foreigner exactly? Well. They are a British American rock band originally formed in New York City in 1976. So that's kind of, um, that's different. Normally when it, it, the sentence starts with British American rock band, it usually tells me that they formed in a city somewhere in England. So that's different. New York. There you go. Okay. Hard rock, arena rock, soft rock, and prog. Awesome. In 1977, Foreigner released its self-titled debut album, the first of four straight albums to be certified at least five times platinum. Did I read that? The first of four straight albums to be certified at least five times platinum. So they released one album, and then they released another one, and then they released another one, and they released another one, and they all went five times platinum in a row. Okay, that's kind of crazy, actually. Foreigner peaked at number four on the US album chart and in the top 10 in Canada and Australia while yielding two top 10 hits in North America. Feels like the first time and cold as ice. Okay, cool. How many albums do they have? And then we'll get to the song, I promise. Not as many as I was suspecting. Honestly, after hearing their huge success in the first, uh, first four albums, looks like they were going pretty consistent all the way up until 1994, if you notice. Every few years, a new album. And then they took a, a nice break after 94 and put an album out in 2009. Good for them. All right, so this song particular, in particular is from Agent Provocateur. <laughs> Provocateur. 1984 power ballad all right let's get into it already spent some time here talking about them oh my gosh what look at this look at this chart <laughs> okay number one number one's a lot italy was like the only country that was just uh kind of feeling it number 24 <laughs> everywhere else is a top 10 that's pretty everywhere else is a top 10 that's crazy all right let's give it a listen once again thank you guys so much for joining if you're new i hope you join us down below hit the subscribe button would love to have you here everybody else thanks for coming back let's check this out going with this okay yes
building, big time. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I know you can show me. Song, mm. nice. You gotta have patience, cause you get you get you get paid off in the end. That was really smooth. Nice, huge voice coming through there on that chorus. Let's see if it gets repeated again, because that wasn't quite enough. I want to hear it one more time, maybe twice. Yeah. There's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. I can't stop now. I've traveled so far. The change Tell is lonely okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> You know what's good about this? And I'm going to let it play again. This is how you know you're listening to something good, right? Because I feel like his voice is so enthralled in what he is saying. It's coming through like it's very true. It's not just a singer singing lyrics really well that you're impressed with. And this is what I resonate and love so much about all this mu music that we listen to on this channel. You, you're not just hearing somebody sing the song. You're listening to someone be the song. He is singing these lyrics with every intent. And that's what's so special because you can feel that being conveyed. And I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But I feel like everybody will because you, I bet everybody else feels the same way as well. You can feel and understand the artist when they mean it. You know what I mean. Listen to that. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me. Yes. 
nothing like too complicated or crazy about that. It's just emotionally driven. And when you're doing that really good, that's all that you need, baby. Nothing too complicated, straightforward ballad, power ballad, and damn, they did it really good. Lou Graham, okay, that's the gentleman on lead. Keyboards, we got some synthesizers backing up for our space. Um, drums, yeah. And even really the synthesizers aren't, you know, too forward on that. It's really just a straightforward song. Like I said, nothing too crazy. But the, emo the emotion and the message is driven so well. And um, as you can see, it definitely worked. That was a serious, serious song with so many just, I feel like, ways to connect. Who can't connect with this? I mean, come on. And maybe that's why it resonates with resonated so well with people plus when you can tell that it's being delivered in a way that is so powerful that helps convey the message as well that was amazing what do you guys think about this one i'm sure all you guys have heard it i want to know what love is maybe let me know if this is my favorite thing where were you when you first heard it or how did it make you feel when you first heard it share that with me down below thank you guys so much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't yet Drop a like on the way out as well. Helps out my channel. But more importantly, let's have a great day. See you guys soon. Peace.